going to talk about industry. So do you know what an industry is? If not, I'll tell you. So an industry means to convert a raw material into a finished good. So now let me tell you the points needed to set up your a very own industry. Or in other words, factors for setting up an industry. So let's start. First, you'll need raw material, which will go in this cloud. That's the most important thing. Like, if you wanted to set up a sugar industry, you'd need sugar cane before it. And sugar cane here is the raw material. Oh, and let me tell you something. You should set up your industry in a place where that raw material is easily available. Or else your cost will go up because it'll need to be transported from other places. Now let's move to the second point. So after raw materials, we'll need machines. So these raw materials will need to be manufactured by what? Machines. So there you go, machines. So for machines, those will be needed to manufacture the raw materials, as I said. And now the third point, which is transportation. Transportation. There, so just in case, I mean, like you need to get the raw materials, so maybe a bus or truck or something can get that. And also for sending the finished goods to the market. So you need transportation too. Now let's see the other points. Next is labor. You will need cheap and abundant labor to set up the products. I mean the, to pack the products, unpack the products. And also, those machines won't work themselves. Some labor will need to do all that. And then loading and unloading too. So the next point after labor is electricity. The machines would need electricity to work and uh, even the labor would need some lights to work, won't they? Last point, you'll need finance. I mean, all of these wouldn't have worked without finance. You couldn't have afforded machines, labor. Nothing would have worked without your finance. Now you can take a look at the six points. So now guys, I'm going to tell you about industries based on raw materials. So there are two types, agro-based industries and mineral-based industries. So let's note that. Just to save space, I'm going to write agro for agro-based industries. And for the other cloud, it's going to be just minerals. There, so an agro-based industry, uh, an agro-based industry gets its raw material from agriculture, and a mineral-based industry gets their raw materials from minerals. So now let me tell you about the three uh, most uh, the three agro-based industries that are found in India. So first is cotton. And cotton is found. Uh, cotton is found 
in Maharashtra, Gujarat, and Madhya Pradesh. Next is jute. So jute industries are mainly found in Kolkata, which is in West Bengal. Now the third one, which is the final one, is sugar cane, or all sugar. Mmm, sweet point. So sugar is found in Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Mumbai, uh, not Mumbai, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, etc. So actually, India is the best producer of cotton in the world. Now guys, let me tell you about mineral-based industries in India. So the most popular one in India is the iron and steel industry. I'll just write iron and steel for now instead of writing industry two. So most of the iron and steel industries in India are in the public sector, but the only one in the private sector is the Tata Iron and Steel Plant. And also, iron and steel industries are called heavy industries because the finished product and raw materials are normally big, heavy, and bulky. Next is the automobile industries, which is found mostly in Gurgaon. Uh, it's found mostly in Gurgaon and Chennai. So I'll write automobile. And since I didn't have space, I'm writing mobile at the bottom. And that M needs to be lowercase. Now next is the electronic goods. So I'll just write electronic. So the electronic goods are mostly made in Bangalore, Chennai, and Mumbai. So next point is shipbuilding. But I'll just write ships, a ship build for now. Building. So shipbuilding is normally in Vizag or Vishakapatnam, Kochi, etc. So now coming to the last point, which is railway coaches. I'll write railway coach. So railway coaches are found mostly in Patiala and Kapurtala in Punjab. So now guys, I'm going to tell you about industries based on investment. So industries based on investment are divided into three parts. Large scale industries, small scale industry, industries and cottage industries. So I'll mark them. So large. For short, I'll just write large, small, and cottage. Large, small. And then the last one, which is cottage. industry hires thousands of laborers, has big machines, and yeah. So now let me tell you some examples of large-scale industries. So some examples of large-scale industries are shipbuilding, but I'll just write ships. And then there's locomotives or automobile.
and then there's a, a there's textile industry. There, textile. Now let's move on to small scale industries. So small scale industries have less labor and not very complex machines. So some examples of a com of a small scale industry could be electric things, electric goods like a fan or maybe a steering machine. So right, electric. But since there isn't any room for goods, I'll just write that. And then from there, two little lines. And then I'll write the examples. Fans and sewing machines. But I'll write just sewing. Basket making or weaving. There. Now, guys, let me tell you on industries based on ownership. So it's divided into two parts, and these two parts are the public and private sector. So public sector here and the private sector in the other cloud. So now let me tell you a bit on the public sector. So the public sector is mainly managed by the government. And an example about the public on the public sector is the iron and steel industry. I'll write just iron and steel for now. And now moving on to the private sector. So the private sector is run by a group of people, I mean, not the government, but a group of people or a single person. So now let me tell you an example on the private sector, and that could be the Tata Iron and Steel Plant. But I'll write just Tata. There. Now let's take a look at some of India's major industries. So let's start. First is the iron and steel industries, and they're concentrated in Bukhara, Jamshedpur, Rorkela, Pillai, and Salem. And now come to the next point, which is for aircraft. And for aircraft, it's Bangalore. So that's the only place on the map, apparently. Next is railway. So for railway coaches, it's Kapurtala and Patiala. But since there wasn't enough room, I didn't mark it. Next is automobile industries. So automobile industries are in Chennai and in Gurgaon. So next is textile. So textile industries are found in Ahmedabad and Mumbai. So Ahmedabad is also known as the Manchester of India. Ship, or well, shipbuilding. So shipbuilding is in Vaidag, or well, Vishakapatnam now. And 
Marmagal and Koki. So I hope you enjoyed my video on India's industries, guys. Bye!